welcome back to my studio. Hope you're ready for just a little bit more wreath madness. This one is going to be fun. It's very Christmassy and I can't wait to show you. So let's get down to the table. Okay, so I've got a batch of different things that I'm going to use here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these little bells, but I've got them just in case. I'm going to do something I haven't done before. I'm going to hang this bell from the top and then put the sign over most of that hanging cord because I just love that bell. Then another thing I did differently is I made these pick bundles with a big pick and a batch of little cut flowers. And what I did is I put the bundles and angled them the way I wanted and then I took a little electrical tape and sort of attached them all together so I only have to glue down one thing and not a batch of different elements. They're all put together just the way I want them. And I know that this tape isn't going to show because it's going to be underneath my big beautiful bow. Now for my bow I'm doing something different. I've got three different ribbons and two of the ribbons are smaller width, which is why I've picked three instead of just two. And we'll see how that works when we make our big bow. Then again, because I'm using tool, I'm going to use handy dandy duct tape for our base. So let me push some things to the side and then we'll get started. Okay, so I've got everything unwrapped and ready. I'm just gonna find the starting edge of my duct tape here. And I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Make sure when you're wrapping with duct tape that you don't pull too hard and distort your wreath. Same thing if you're wrapping with electrical tape. You wanna pull it so that the duct tape is nice and tight, but you don't wanna pull it so tight that you distort the shape of the wreath. Flip it over and cut. And we are done with our wrap. Okay. Now we're going to take our tool we're going to put some glue down. Drop the tool into it and use our silicone brush to make sure that that's all firmly down in there. Attached. Give that a second. And then we can start wrapping. Okay, when you get to the end of the first roll, because it will take at least two, put some glue down. Pull that into it. Use your silicone brush to make sure it's nice and set down. excess that's going over the end there, you can cut that off. Do a nice clean line. Get your next roller tool ready. Put some more glue right where your last batch ended. Sit down in and let it sit a minute. Now 
So you want it to set up a little bit before you start wrapping. And then you are ready to go. Once you're sure you're back to where you started and you're all covered, then you can put some glue down. You know what? I have almost nothing left on this roll. Let's finish it up. A little extra will never hurt. Just keep it going a few more wraps. Get like two more wraps, three more wraps. And put your glue down. And again, you're going to pull it over. Use your silicone to help push it down into place. Make sure it's all well stuck. And then cut off your excess. You don't want it going over the edge there. All right. Now, while that is drying and setting up, we are going to work on our bow. I'm going to take one sixteen of each size. I think I made two sixteens of everything. 18, 18, 18. Nope. Hold on. Okay, one sixteen of each size. I'm going to be put to the side for tails. And I'm going to take all the rest. Hopefully I did this right. Now we're going to take our handy stapler and make loops. Take a pipe cleaner. We're going to squish at the center back. Take our pipe cleaner, find our center, and just make one or two quick twists, just enough to hold it. Set that to the side. We'll need him later. All right, we're going to take our bows. We're going to alternate by design and size into little X's. Keeping all our centers together. We're going to squish up our centers into each other. Twist tie right through that center spot. Squish it up as best you can and give that a good tight twist. We're going to take the two, I'm sorry, three 16s. We're going to dovetail our ends. Okay, we're going to 
I'll take those three. I'll put them face down. Now first I'm going to start with them face up. I guess I can do them face up. It doesn't hurt. I'll put them on here face up. I'm going to find my middle spot. It's right there. And at my middle spot I'm going to squish them keeping their faces all facing in the same direction. You want to make sure that you're squishing them so that their faces are all going to be the right way. I'm going to turn them so that the faces are away from us towards the top of the bow. Put them into that pipe cleaner that's sitting there from before and give that another couple twists to hold your bow all together. And now that's ready to get put on and you can spend some time fluffing. And we can do some more fluffing and pushing later once it's on. It looks a little empty in the middle here, so I'm going to have to play with it some more, but not going to play with it too much right now. I think what we're going to concentrate on right now is getting the rest of our wreath done. So I think I should have used more of the big stuff, or at least pulled it over some. You can play with it and fluff and move and reorganize as much as you want until you have it the way you want it. It's not done until you say it's done. Okay, put that to the side. Grab our wreath back is now ready for us and we're going to put our bow and I think I'm going to put it really high up so not quite centered but more towards the top than the bottom a wee bit there's always a way change away the way it looks and add more later. All right, so we're going to twist that on to our wreath. I'm going to cut away the excess. Push that down. And give it a good glob of glue so it's not going anywhere, people. Now, do you have to glue your bow down? No. If you want to make it so you can pull, you make a wreath and you want to be able to take the bow off and change the different bows by putting very neutral picks so you can use it for different seasons. You do not have to glue your bow down. I like to because I'm not planning on having it come apart. Most of these will be gifts. So we're going to let that glue glob dry for a sec and then we'll be back. Okay, now we are ready to move on. So the first things we're going to do is we're going to work on our florals. So these two are going to go first. So you're going to give yourself a nice batch of glue. And then lay that down under your bow, right where you want it. Like I said before, if you lay them both down, pull one out, put it in, then you can see for the symmetry where to put it back. And then do the second one. And you've got the first one now as your guideline for the second one. We're going 
gonna put our first big floral pick. And because I bundled it, that's gonna make it a little easier because it's all going in one shot. It's all curved the way I need it. Again, lift that bow a little bit. Help us get it under in where we want it. And I may put a bell right there just to hide that black plastic. I can put another floral or something. if you mess up your bow while you're putting other things by moving it or undoing your floof because you can always refloof the bow. It's more important to get this where it needs to be and then fix your bow later. Okay and since I am still seeing some of that muck I'm gonna put something else right here. I've got two more little flowers so I'm gonna cut those up short. Side over new, cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Again, once you get everything in your where you want it, you can refloof your bow that you've been pushing around this way and that way to get out of the way of your other stuff. And it's going to get bashed again the minute I work on the stuff on the top, so you know, give myself a break. I can floof more later. I've been wrapping presents for you. Now we're going to work on the top, so let me turn this around, make it easier for myself, and you'll be able to see upside right instead of upside down. So the first thing I want to do is figure out exactly where I need this by taking my Merry Christmas sign and then figuring out if that's there, how far up this needs to be. Because it's going to be under that sign, I'm going to take a small piece of duct tape instead of just trying to glue it down. I'm going to take a small piece of duct tape make sure we have that centered and we're just going to put that down there. And then just to be sure here at the end, I'm going to put a big dab of glue, keep it from coming out from under the duct tape. And now we're going to take our big sign. Instead of taping this down, I could have put a twist tie or something through the wreath to hold it in place. Put a couple jingle balls out. Maybe some there. I think I may put one down there under the ribbon. 
Start up here at the top. Some glue on the back of my ball. Put that one right next to the sign here. Right next to this sign there. Turn this guy back around. I want to put one down here at the bottom, right between the tails. Sort of under the bow. And that's going to cover up that pipe cleaner and help with the fact that our bow is a little thinner than normal. Okay. Can sort of spread out the tails a bit. All right, I'm going to let this set up and dry a bit, and then I will show you final results. Okay, we have our final results of our beautiful Christmas wreath. So up top we have our Merry Christmas sign with our little balls and our big ball that's hanging down the middle. We've got a wonderful green picks and flowers, a pretty bow, which has another ball hiding down below and another beautiful pick on this side. So we got all the beautiful colors of Christmas and a lovely Merry Christmas sign. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you see more videos. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your presence, and have a wonderful day.